everyone, I'm the military commander for Payload Mode 2.0. This is the armory for PUBG Mobile Payload Mode 2.0, and what better way to start than by checking out the new vehicles. In this update, lots of classic vehicles have been outfitted specially for the new Payload Mode 2.0. The new vehicles are equipped with three devastating weapons, flamethrowers, a gatling gun, and a rocket launcher. The flamethrowers spew fire straight ahead and will cook any enemy that gets in the way. You can even blow up vehicles at close range. Just remember to watch your fuel. The Gatling gun uses 7.62mm rounds and can fire 150 of them in rapid succession, leaving enemies with no place to hide. The rocket launcher isn't picky about aim, and the noise alone is enough to terrify your foes. Not all vehicles have all three heavy weapons though. Let's take a closer look on how they're outfitted. The new UAZ seats four people. The player in one seat can use flamethrowers. That's right, the driver also gets a weapon. So if you chase someone down, you can finish them off too. The players in seat two and three can use the Gatling gun and the rocket launcher respectively. Seat four is often reserved for the team leader, so they can sit here and give orders. The other four seater is the Dacia. A Gatling gun won't fit into this compact vehicle so it leaves seat one with the flamethrowers and seat two with the rocket launcher. The players in the back seats have to fire their weapons while leaning out of the windows. If controlling these vehicles doesn't sound challenging enough, try the buggy. The armed buggy still has two seats, but the player in seat two can now fire the Gatling gun, newly mounted on the roof. Aaron Gill is also ready to welcome the trailblazing desert and rainforest pickup. With the newly added Gatling gun, the pickup now has three seats. The player in seat 1 controls the flamethrowers, and the player in seat 3 controls the gun. It's also worth noting that this Gatling gun comes with a protective shield. What's that? If you think that there's no rocket launcher, the buggy and the pickup are no fun? But what about floaters? Now you've got an amphibious vehicle with decent water speed. Say goodbye to bridge blocking. Of course, would payload mode be complete without air battles? The armed AH-6 helicopter is back and it has room for four. The player in seat two controls the rocket launcher, and their teammates in seats three and four get their own Gatling gun each. With this vehicle, you'll rule the battlefield. But a weapon this powerful won't be easy to obtain. If you're brave enough, you can try to fight for it at a base. If you're lucky enough, you might stumble onto it at the side of the road. Which do you think will be more likely? The addition of these heavy weapons will strain everyone's backpacks, making level three backpacks a necessity. So, we've added a nifty little feature, the vehicle storage locker. Players can now use the storage locker to share items such as ammo and supplies without even having to leave the vehicle. How will you use this feature? And that's about it for the vehicles in payload mode 2.0. The question is, how do you defeat them? We'll reveal that in our next episode.